So when we look at the technical etude for bass clarinet for high school, it's extraordinarily difficult for a variety of reasons, but the main reason is just all of the notes you have to play. So because of that, I think that the tempo that they have indicated is perhaps a touch too fast. Um, if you choose to play it at a slower tempo, maybe towards something around 84 or so, maybe even just a little bit less than that, you give yourself a better chance at playing all of the notes accurately. Uh, however, then you have some problems that are going to result from breathing. And so I think that if you look throughout the etude, one of the things that you'll notice is that there are no convenient spots to breathe, that it's just chock full of notes from beginning to end without any rests or long notes to sort of take some time from and sneak a breath in. So if you want to play it fast, that's fine so that you can get more notes in under your airstreams. But even then, you're going to have to breathe at some point. So again, my recommendation is go ahead and take a more conservative tempo and take more frequent breaths in order to achieve better technical mastery of this so that you're comfortable as you're playing it for your audition. So to that end, I have a list of spots here that I figured out that would work well for breaths. And I'd like you to mark these in. So at the end of bar four, the end of bar eight, the end of bar 10, the end of bar 12, end of 14, end of 16, in measure 20 after the very first note, in measure 24 before the final note, the end of bar 26, the end of bar 28, the end of 30, end of 32, and end of 34. So we're talking roughly uh, two to four bar phrases that we're gonna be making out of this. But I think that those breaths correspond nicely with register changes, with pattern changes, and it should give you sort of a nice blueprint as you go through here. If you are inclined to play it faster as you approach the audition, and you find you don't need all of these breaths, that's perfectly fine to eliminate them, but especially as you're learning it, this is where I would breathe to make sure that you can play every single note that's written in this etude. And because of all the technique that you've got, it's very, very essential that you have a clear rhythmic foundation as you approach this. Make sure that you are keyed into the eighth note subdivision as you go through here so that all of those 16th notes line up perfectly 
with good full sound all the way through. The danger, of course, is that there's going to be unevenness in the rhythm. And when we have fast rhythms like this with lots of notes that sort of wiggle all around the registers, the chances of rushing are very high. So you want to make sure that you have a nice grounded eighth note subdivision as you're learning this. A couple of other things. Make sure that you carry accidentals through their bars. So I'm looking at measure eight and I see an A flat that carries through that measure as well as in measure 23 with the A sharps and the C sharps that carry through that measure. I would go ahead and mark those in uh, before I even started practicing those measure measures just to make sure that I knew the notes that I had to play. And finally, in bars 31 and 32, make sure that you are using your left hand C key as you're going through these diminished seventh arpeggios coming from the E flat. You want to make sure you're alternating your pinkies. You can't afford to do any right hand slides. You frankly don't have any time to do it. So definitely grab the left hand C lever um, to play the E flat to C interval as you go through those arpeggios. So I hope you find those suggestions useful as you're preparing. As always, I'm available for questions if you have them. And good luck on your auditions.